just because I think we can beat this one. And if we beat this one, we'll go right back to deal or no deal. The reason the doors are better for switching is because you have a two-thirds chance you pick a door with nothing behind it. And then they can't show you it has nothing, so switching is 100% compared to a one to third chance of switching. But in deal or no deal, you have no extra information, so you just keep your case of switching. All right. Well, let's do the game show, I guess. You want speed? You want danger? You want action? Then welcome to Stunt Track Challenge, the show that has got it all. I'm your host, Ryan Storm. The rules of the show are simple. Beat the opposition in every stunt challenge and race over six exciting episodes. Only one contestant can drive away with the title of Stunt Track Challenge Champion. Only one contestant can win the ultimate prize, the Hot Wheels Gold Car. Think you've got what it takes? Well, let's buckle up and find out because it's time to hit the road. Jurassic Jam. Hey, it's time to go to an age of monsters. Howie Mandel will be here. <laughs> to an age of danger. Get ready for the Jurassic Jam. Okay, contestant, here's your first challenge. Pull off enough stunts to score 300 points before the timer reaches zero. Orm, you cross the finish line. Good luck. Okay, well, it looks like this is the only car we get. Nice driving. Keep that up and you'll complete this episode in no time. Alright. Wow. We got passwords. Probably going to wish I wrote that down. Now it's time to show what you're made of. It's a flat out race and you need to finish in first place. Good luck and may the best contestant win. Oh, wait, I could have hit up or down. I right, changed the color. I mean, this looks pretty cool. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Oh, I didn't do a trick. My nose itches. <laughs> Oh, we get to do a loop-de-loop? -loop? That's awesome. That's awesome. Do I need to do tricks? Like, does that give me anything? Do I need points? I 
I also don't know how to use the flashing thing. None of the buttons seem to really work. Going 176 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, it's Hot Wheels, man. It's extreme. You can't tell, but I'm also wearing sunglasses. Inside the car, I mean, my character. Hood flip, yo. Can I, like, not make the loopy loop, you think, like, if I go too slow? And that's what I tried. The shoulder buttons don't seem to be working. Hey, that was hot. You did it. You've won a new car. New vehicle available. Power pipes. Oh, let me get a pair. Fast ones. Ideally, I don't need these fast ones. But... Cool, this is my work notebook, but whatever. J, J, S, C, F, Q, C, F. Okay, I guess there's... For your next challenge, you have to score 700 points and cross the finish line before the other car does. Hurry, you've only got 40 seconds. Well, better be a short track. Power pipes. Wow, he looks stupid. This need for speed. Hot Wheels. I was hoping it would have cool things like this. How many points do I need? 700? Okay, well, we're gonna need more ramps than what we got. Nice driving, keep that up and you'll complete this episode in no time. Dude, there's so many passwords. J J S C R B D V. For the next Jurassic Jam challenge, you need to score 600 stunt points before your car lands on the other side of the jump. Good luck. I forgot to change my stream title. Hey, all right, three flips does it. Hey, that was hot, you did it. Now it's time to show what you're made of. It's a flat out race and you need to finish in first place. Good luck and may the best contestant win. I mean, 
we might as well use the new car. The new dope power pipes. Doesn't look stupid at all. Dude, right off the bat. Oh my god, double loop de loop. We're racing together. Whoa, that's so cool. What did I get? I don't know how to use it. I got it though. Oh, did I use it? Was I just automatically using it? Oh, I came out of the dinosaur this time. No. Instead of coming in the dinosaur. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't want to do a trick. It's like once you're in the loop, you're like locked in. You can't like really move or anything. entirely sure what that thing is, but I'm pretty sure I want to grab it. dangerous. I keep trying to turn my car in the air and then you do like a trick. Crossing the finish line is also the same noise that my cell phone makes. <laughs> when I get a text message. Like, I don't know. You know, this stuff's flashing, and no matter what button I hit, nothing happens. I pick up the weird jetpack thing. It doesn't take away any of the flashy stuff. Nothing special seems to happen when I pick it up, and then it just goes away after a while. I don't seem to be going any faster. I mean... <laughs> the dinosaur didn't give me much choice. It's my engine temp. 
Way to go, you've completed the episode and won a new car. New game show episode, Spider Alley. New vehicle available, Roger Dodger, my new password. Spider Alley. Okay, contestant, here's your next challenge. You have 22 seconds to reach the finish line. Dude, Roger Dodger actually looks cool. Show's about to get canceled. Look, I mean, if this is what NASCAR was really like, I would watch the shit out of it. Whoa, that was great. Now on to the next challenge. The last track, Rainbow Road. Ready for the next challenge? This time you have to score 900 points and cross the finish line before the other car does. You've only got 30 seconds. Why do I only get two colors, green and blue? Whatever. We're just going to use this car because it's the default one. Nice work, that was some awesome driving. Now it's time to show what you're made of. It's a flat out race and you need to finish in first place. Good luck and may the best contestant win. I like the tracks, I like racing. I don't like the points thing. Hey, yeah, check that out. I got one of those. Where's the blue shell? I'm just waiting to like get hit by lightning and shrink right before I cross the finish line. Or somebody with a screen name that's like all in Japanese to like somehow magically warp across the track. <laughs> the problem with online gaming. It is fun, but some people just get so disgustingly good so quick that it kind of becomes not
I like racing games. What do you say there were six six episodes though? Good lord. Okay, the tracks could be a little smaller. L and R. Uh, how about both of them at the same time? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Good call. Oh. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to have to race the whole track again. Okay, that is good to know though. We may need that later. Hey, that was hot. You did it. You've won a new car. Breaking down is a trick. Mega duty. <laughs> Mega duty. It's time for another stunt challenge. You need to successfully perform an air L barrel before you reach the finish line or the timer runs out. There's like nine or ten cars left. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> nice work, that was some awesome driving. Alright, we're just sticking with the default car. Now it's time to show what you're made of. It's a flat out race and you need to finish in first place. Yeah, doing tricks fills the, uh, the boost meter. Okay, we got the blue orb. I find it terribly distracting, but I got this thing, so. Ran out before I saw anybody else, though.
Kawasaki Hot Wheels. <laughs> this game is much better than Kawasaki. Okay. Got the purple thing. This is pretty cool. I do not know what that is. You would think it would be some sort of turbo boost, but... Doesn't seem to be what it actually is. It's called a bubble. Uh, way to go, you've completed the episode and won a car. Barrel is two barrels of the same type. 208 miles an hour. Oh, did it? Oh, when I hit my turbo. <laughs> Buccaneer Bay. Okay, contestant, here's your next challenge. You have to score 900 points and cross the finish line. But I've only got 35 seconds. What's my new car? The slingshot. almost out of time jet boost increases your handling oh and allows you to make more stunts in the air okay nice work that was some awesome driving now it's time to show what you're made of it's flat out race and you need to finish in first place i mean i kind of like this car <laughs> just that's it the default color and also green <laughs> If you like green, you're in luck. Cool, that's what that does? I mean, look at that awesome Skull Island in the background. Oh, sweet, and here's a cave that looks like a skull that... We don't get to go in? That's just mm -hmm. Oh, we do get to go in it. And it's very short. <laughs> it's 
Still pretty cool though. Yeah, I don't know. I, got, I think this game's awesome. You like green? Dude, you're in luck. Every car comes in green. Don't tell me what I can stick where. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you want to think that it's weird, you know, that guys, like, joke around about stuff like that, but, like, you take your fingers and you stick it in all kinds of places. You know, dudes just have an extra finger. However, if you stick it in the right place, the reward is ten times better. <laughs> that being said, if you stick it in the wrong place, it's ten times worse. So, It's definitely a gamble. Yeah. You think I'm not going to stick my eleventh finger in, you know, whatever I can find? Dude, you're, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven? Yeah, right? You got ten fingers? And then, you know, I got an eleventh finger down there. You were making me question how many fingers I had for a second. Yeah, I was I was worried. I was like, we have ten fingers, right? <laughs> I was thinking I was a fool. Or a freak. <laughs> if you're from Bama, it's twelve. That would be a good thing. Wouldn't it be an advantage to have more fingers? I mean, maybe not right away, right? Because your your finger isn't like super agile or whatever. But over time, you keep passing that on generation to generation, dude. Eventually, your family's gonna be superior. You won the race. Nice driving. You've won a prize. A new car awarded. Uh, hold on, I gotta check this text message because somebody else is my kid. Oh. To complete the next challenge, you must knock over all of the cones before the timer reaches zero. Oh boy. You can't turn around to try for it again. Was the timer tight? It wasn't, right? I had plenty of time to... go 20 miles an hour just about is it this one right here yeah yeah <laughs> that was great now on to the next challenge
The next challenge will really put your stunt skills to the test. You need to score 900 points before the timer reaches zero. You cross the finish line. Whoa, super tuned. I'm going for this one. That was some awesome driving. Now it's time to show what you're made of. Flat out race, come in first place. Breaking down, all right. Whoa, is that what it was supposed to do? like nod my head up like so breaking up you're breaking up with me <laughs> could have at least been man enough to do it to my face Wait, that looked exactly the same. Oh yeah, like that? <laughs> oh, are we underwater? Cool. This game's neat. Trunk flip and hood flip is a combo. Oh, so if I do them both, all right. I'll try it next time. I'm not going to try it here because I don't want to lose the race and have to do it all over. But. What about hood wink? A movie. Like a Pixar wannabe movie. There you go. I did them both. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I saw the opportunity. 
The background is awesome, what, like, in the racetrack itself, like, outside the course? Yeah, I think the tracks are pretty cool. There's like pirate ships and treasure, and you know, you get to do loop-de-loops. Way to go, you've completed the episode and won a new car. How many is that, four? Is this five? New vehicle, swoop-de-doo. Here's your next challenge. You need to successfully perform a flip-flap and a flap-flop. What's a flip-flap? Ooh, the swoop de doo swoop de doo Oh, okay, so just two flips. So you're saying... Ah, gotcha. Good luck, man. You're my hero. That was hot. You did it. For the next challenge, you have just 33 seconds to reach the finish line. Drive as fast as you can. Don't ease up. Oh, we should have checked the colors of the swoop de doo See if it's also green. That was hot. You did it. What is he, Paris Hilton? Time to show what you're made of. A flat-out race, first place. Uh, I think I'm going to try to use the Vulture. I think it controls the best, but... Oh, purple. No green this time. <laughs> he only had green paint. Yeah, like, you know how, like, in Photoshop, you can choose two colors? <laughs> the second color was set to green and he didn't know how to change it. <laughs> this is my first day on the job. I always feel bad for people who's like it's their first day on the job because they come in like two forms. Like, either there's someone who's, like, super insecure because they have no idea what they're doing, or it's somebody who's, like, super overzealous. <laughs> and we went to, I met my friends at a brewery the other day. <laughs> and it was the dude at the door. It was, like, his first day, and there's, like, no outside beverages let in. And, I mean, dude, this guy was, like, he was adamant nobody was going to sneak anything at the door. <laughs> He was, like, checking all my baby shit and stuff, and, like, he wasn't going to let me bring a milk bottle in for Lily. I'm like, dude, what is milk for my baby? And he's like, no outside beverages. It's milk. <laughs> he's like, I don't know, man. It's my first day. I'm like, trust me, you're going to be fine. It's milk for my baby. <laughs> he's like, all right, don't let anybody see it. <laughs> Like, okay. And then later I saw him walking around, like, checking tables to make sure nobody had any outside drink. Like, dude. Chill, man. <laughs> Illegal milk. Yeah, at a brewery. What, you think I'm going to mix it with alcohol? Like, gross.
I wasn't even drinking, right? They like check your ID and stamp your hand. I was like, dude, I'm, I got a kid, man. I'm not drinking anything. What exactly do you think I'd be smuggling in? So yeah, so he went up to the, um, he went up to the food trucks and he wrote down a list of all the drinks that the food trucks sell, like the Minute Maids and stuff. <laughs> and he was checking the list to make sure that, you know, because people had drinks on tables and he would walk around and if you had a drink that wasn't alcohol, he'd check his list to make sure your drink was on his food truck list. <laughs> he means well. He's doing a good job. It's just, you know, a little overzealous, man. Pretty sure the brewery is just concerned with people bringing in their own alcohol, dude. I don't think anybody cares if they sneak in a Minute Maid for their 10-year-old, you know? Truth be told, the brewery probably doesn't care at all. They just have to for pizza reasons. <laughs> no! God damn it, dude. Spammers are the worst! I think I can set my phone to just not accept calls from numbers I don't know. I didn't turn that on because occasionally I get calls from like, you know, I dropped my car off at the shop or something and I don't want to forget to turn that off. But. It's getting to that point. Oh, no. I'm still in first. Somehow. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I lost all my turbo when I crashed. Okay. As long as I'm in first. I didn't mean to do a trick. I was just trying to align myself on the road. Alright. Luckily, he, uh, that's someone who my dad would call a pain in the ass. Luckily he doesn't drink. Yeah, I don't either. I just met my friends there. To give you a notification if they're spammers or suspected. If I turn that setting on. Okay. Because my phone does that now, but it still rings, and I just hate the ring. Cool. Well, I'll turn that setting on. Ready for the next challenge? You need to score 1,300 points and cross the finish line. I've only got 50 seconds. All right, whatever. Default car it is. Only 150. I did two tricks. Okay, sure. Saucers are the best. I don't know what a saucer is. We don't know how to do them either. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now it's time to show what you're made of. First place race. All right, we're taking the swoop de doo No, you know what? We're going with the Dodora. Oh, you can get it in yellow and also yellow. Which one do you prefer? Oh, left and right bumpers? Okay, I've been doing those. 
Hopefully this isn't uh, a big mistake. <laughs> I kind of feel like it might have been. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I wanted to live a little dangerously. Good God, why is this a car in a racing game? I guess it does go 170 some miles an hour. It just doesn't feel like it. It handles like butt. <laughs> this is a mistake. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. First place is right there. Crashing doesn't really take that long, I guess. So used to crashing in games and it like setting you way back. We just lost all of our turbo, which I feel like we need for this one. Can we get him? Can we get him? It turns so badly. <laughs> it's cool that the cars handle differently, though. I mean, it's... I guess I have low standards for what I expect from a Game Boy Advance game. Standards are just right. I don't know. We've played some decent ones. Uh, that top, that that Top Gun game was kind of cool. I don't know how they expect you to play that on the road. The stages were way too long, but it was cool. Shrek was way better than it had any right to be. Rugrats was a fucking disaster. <laughs> that Rugrats game was. I still don't know what the hell that was. This one's pretty cool. I have zero standards. <laughs> hey man, your options open up a lot and you're always impressed if your standards are that low. You know how many women you can date if you have no standards at all? <laughs> Literally all of them. I mean, potentially. I guess a lot of them are going to be in relationships. Some of them just straight up aren't going to want anything to do with you, but...
You know how impressed you'll be with video games if you have zero standards set for all of them? Why specifically women? Good point. I'm old, man. I forget world culture, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm out of touch. We used to like joke around about stuff in school that would get you like thrown in jail now. Like we used to sing a song about the teacher hit me with a ruler. Glory, glory, hallelujah, teacher hit me with a ruler. So I hid behind the door with a loaded 44 and that's why she's laying on the floor. We used to sing that like at recess. And you know, oh, silly kids. Nowadays, dude, they'll throw you in jail for that shit. <laughs> Why specifically humans? See what I mean? Look, your options are just stacking up. You had like all the women, now you got all the dudes, and now you got aliens, dogs, dolphins. Here's what you have to do. Score 1,100 points before your car lands on the other side of the jump. Uh, what? We get the Batmobile. The governor. Just dating math formulas. That was hot. You did it. Zero gravity zone. Solar strip. Now it's time to show what you're made of. It's a flat out race and you need to finish in first place. Give me the governor. What? There's like a UFO, like abducting cows. Oh, it's like a... <laughs> it's like a satellite and there was like an orange dome even further behind it. Space with my two dogs, the final frontier. To boldly go where no two dogs have gone before. Our five-year mission. I've been re-watching um, The Next Generation, and I just want to say I firmly stand with the original series is the best. Captain Kirk is the best captain. If you disagree, you're wrong. <laughs> Next Generation's good, but... Something about the original series just speaks to me. There's, um... I'm, I'm excited for the new one with Captain Pike. What's it called? I don't know. It starts on the 5th, like in two days from now. Because they're going back to just like episodic adventures. They're not going to do this like season-long story arc. Strange New Worlds? Yeah, I'm kind of excited for it. Because I don't hate Discovery, but, you know, some of it was dumb. Like what caused the burn? That was stupid. I thought that was a cool idea, but what actually happened was just dumb, I thought. And Picard is just awful. It's just... 
We don't need to see Captain Picard as like an 80-year-old man. Like, you know, dude, just don't. Just don't. Sad. I'm hoping Strange New Worlds is like fun and optimistic. I'm sick of the grittiness, the war, the people dying all the time. Like, it's not why I'm watching Star Trek, dude. I'm watching Star Trek for hopeful adventures. The optimism that comes with Star Trek, you know? The funny characters like that dude who had all the robot women. What the hell was his name? I can't believe I can't think of it. <laughs> I watched Doctor Who. I've only ever seen... Oh, man. I've seen some Doctor Who, but I don't know which one. He had a black leather jacket-ish thing. It's Doctor... Yeah, there's a lot of them. And I don't know, like, if this is, like, an, an old character in Doctor Who, like, if this will help or not, but there was, like, um, the character who was just, like, the skin of a face stretched flat, <laughs> like a towel. And for all I know, that character's been in every season for the past, like, 40 years, but maybe that was, like, a character that was introduced. I thought it was good, and there was, he had some girl with him, but I imagine that doesn't help. Face a bow? Possibly. <gasps> no! no! What is this? Trying to take my first place at the end. You've won a prize! New car awarded! The Twin Mill. Time for another stunt challenge. Pull off enough stunts to score 1,100 points. Right. Let's check out the twin mill. All right, well, it looks like a tongue. Captain Harkness? By oh yeah, he played Destro in G.I. Joe. Wait, what? Really? I didn't know that. Cool. Here's your next challenge. You need to score 1,100 points across the finish line. Still did it. <laughs> the doctor with the leather jacket, Captain Harkness. He's functionally immortal. He evolves into the face of bow. Finish in first place. All right, let's drive the tongue car. Yeah, I don't know where I saw it or why, but that's like the only season I've ever seen. I liked it. Ah! Thought I went the other way. Like maybe Netflix, like way back when Netflix first started, had it or something. Dude, get away from me. With your red orb of whatever.
Yeah, so is it like James Bond where like they get an actor and he takes the role of the doctor and then, you know, he just goes a couple of seasons and decides it's time to move on and they get a new doctor or is it a new doctor every season? And is it the same doctor, just in different bodies, or is it literally different people? I use that jump in the best place. <laughs> Might be the first time we lose a race. Oh, I missed that? I thought I had that. When the doctor dies, he regenerates into a new doctor. Does he keep his memories of the old doctor? Come on, man, I didn't even do anything. Thinking it registered that I tried to do a trick when I was trying to just turn the corner. Way to go, you've completed the episode and won a new car. Lava Land? Is this the last one? Uh, so the 13th is the current one. They decided to go for a gender swap. Sort of when the doctor dies, he regenerates into a new doctor. Same doctor, different body, but he doesn't keep his memories. Usually there's some dementia that happens. Gotcha. A flip to hood air. And to go barrel. Oh, whatever. I just wanted turbo. <laughs> hey, we did it. 
don't understand. I mean, I'm pretty sure we did it like 20 times before that, but... Finally registered. This reminds me of Driver. The very first stage in Driver on the PlayStation is crazy weird like that. All right. Time for your next challenge. 36 seconds to reach the finish line. All right. Wait. Which color does... Oh, blue. Got that. <laughs> Gotta do a perfect land, I guess. Well, yeah, not crash. I guess you have to hold it for a certain amount of time as well. Two frames of room. Okay. Oh, big lizard. Hi, big lizard. Not to be confused with, like, Godzilla big lizard. Still big lizard. Time to show what you're made of, race. You need to finish in first place. Godzilla vs. Big Wizard. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, hold on. It's my parents. Hey, what up? But I mean, we're like stupid close to finishing this game, so... Yeah, take that car, take that car. I told him I have to feed the dogs, I mean, which I do, but probably should have just been like, uh, okay, I gotta finish beating this Hot Wheels game, that's super important. <laughs> I just wouldn't understand. Uh, come on, man, I made that jump, that was crap. Yeah, I got I gotta finish the stunt track challenge, man. I've only had like six hours to play games. It's <laughs> oh. This has been a lot of fun. I really wish I could do this every day. Although I guess it's been super fun because I've played games that like are fun. <laughs> It wasn't just like six hours of Mons and Saga Mutant Fighter over and over and over. Although, I did like it by the time I could do it. Six hours of Double Dragon 3. Yeah, there would be days, man, where this would be a brutal challenge. Actually, I guess it would be more like eight or ten hours because, you know, full time. I wanted that. Okay, this is one of those games where the break button is actually better than letting off the gas. 
here. I mean, this late into the game, you think I would know that, but up until now, it hasn't really mattered that much. Lava car boat? Can't read the rest of that. I don't know, that sounds cool. want a lava car boat as well. I'm assuming that's a car that turns into a boat that can, like, drive on, that can float on lava, right? And not a car boat made out of lava, because that I don't want. Because I will burn. the finish line like right here oh it allows you to drive in the lava okay that's what I thought that was hot you did it you've worn a new car so it looks like I just got like two tracks alright let's do it 900 points and cross the finish line. All right. Oh, cool. All right, let's take it. With me. I'm on a clock. I gotta go meet my parents for dinner clock. Is it a championship race? Give me my car. It does look cool though when everybody hits a jump and then they all start getting tricks. So. Ah, he landed right on it. <laughs> Jerk. At least you don't get punished too much. I want it. Wanted that blue thing.
This is intense because I know I don't have time to do it again. <laughs> it all comes down to this. So I wanted to pick up this jetpack because it increases your handling. It made that part easier. Why we keep the turbo. You did it. You've completed game show mode and proven that you really are a stunt track champion. But the fun has only just begun. You've unlocked a new game mode that will test your skills to the limit and show what a true champion you are. Champions League. 16 Angels. Is there a need for speed for the Game Boy Advance? I think there is. I think there's a couple of them. Cool. Oh, no, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know what Champions League is, but uh, I'm going to call that a GG, I guess. I mean, that's the game show mode. I don't know. Well, I actually kind of like that. That was fun. Yeah, it was a good day. We didn't get to do Mario 2, which is kind of a bummer, but also kind of not really, because <laughs> the purpose of games. I mean, I like playing all the shitty ones, too. I like beating them. I don't like them while I'm playing them, but I like taking them down. All right. Mario 2 is okay, not bad, but yeah, I mean, I've played it a bunch. If we had gotten through everything else, and that's all... 
I would have played it. I just wanted to do it because we've already done Mario 1 and Mario 3 is coming up. It's been nice to round it out. Like, that's it. Minus the Game Boy Mario, that would have been the end of them. Mario 1, 2, 3, Mario World 2, Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo, and Mario World 2 and 3 on the Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Yoshi's Island. I mean, that's a Yoshi game. <laughs> it is technically Super Mario World 2, though, so you're right. And then I guess you could get into, like, Mario is Missing and stuff. Mario RPG, but whatever. That was dope. Let's, uh, let's mark it off the list, and then I gotta go pick up... I gotta meet my parents for dinner and get my baby. Yeah, y'all want something? I'll pick something up for you. It's Mexican. Didn't know the music would stop.